yeah, so we're getting there. Today is my zombie day, really, so um, we're just kicking around the shed, just trying to remember what I was up to, and and um, thought I'd just walk around and point out a few things. Um, so there we go. Got the right wing attached at the moment, I'm just doing the wing struts. So basically everything I did on this wing, I've got to do on this wing. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. So um, my measurements that I'm going with, so between the aileron points here, that's one degree dihedral. And then at the tip out here is one degree washout over the entire wing. That's what we're going for. And so there's my wing struts progressing there now. So there's the upper mount. Um, I put a little timber filler on the inside here, just like an anti-crush thing. I like to do that with all the tubes, with bolts going through them and all of that. So that's basically the front one's done. Um, correct length anyway. So there's obviously trailing edge and leading edge to attach and jury struts and everything yet. So we're still working on the rear one. So up there is your, is your mount. I've mounted it down the bottom there. And I've just got to match these holes here. And other things obviously, but that's where we're at there. Um, dogs hunting mice again, very exciting. So yeah, I've got, oh yeah. Went shopping again and got some more more polishing and cleaning stuff. So this is the stuff I use. Bowden's own metal polish. I did the whole aeroplane in that. I'm gonna try their wax this time around. And I usually use this lazy wax, but I figured I'd give this stuff a go. And then like a UV protective sealant over the top of it. So both, I think we're getting Basically, I started doing all of this, uh, the metal polish and the lazy wax, just as a protective thing over the metal as I built. But now we're getting to the point where um, we're gonna polish it and, and seal it for flight. So that's when I thought I might get a bit more serious with this and try that out. Um, what else have we got? I don't know if I showed you the, um, this is a little, compartment that I've got here so that's where I can put all my pillows and bits and pieces in there so oh Blackhawk Mafia there's a bit of a story about that I used to work on Blackhawks and um, they were replaced by MRH 90 so um, we used to bag the snot out of MRH of course because Blackhawks mines better and they got a little upset with it and started calling us the Blackhawk Mafia and well we sort of adopted that and ran with it Still, still pick a Black Hawk over MRH. But anyway, here we go. So this is a inspection hatch that I've got. I think I've shown this before, but I'm not. Anyway, we'll go over it. Um, I'm sick to death of working on aeroplanes with such minimal access. So I can stick my whole head in here and shoulders and everything. It's great. Um, so access into into the rear fuses. I'll just see if I can get this light to work. All right, there we go. So this is inside the fuse. What you're looking at there is your elevator idler. So it goes, that tube goes down and extended. That's what that's all about. To your other idler, and then that goes down underneath the seats to the control column. Um, it's all stiffened up, so there's no movement anywhere. Um, and then all your adjustments can be done here, and they go out to your elevators out this way. See down there is the rudder as well, rudder tube. Goes to an idler here. And that's, that's just a support to stop it from wobbling around and all of that. And yes, I had, I had to nut out the throws and all of that on here um, because of the pedals that I ended up with and how much movement you got out of that as opposed to how much movement you wanted the rudder. So that was a fun little exercise. Thought I'd show that, something different. But yes, access. Access is a big thing. I really like not having to wriggle in into impossible spots and stuff. That's why I've made this whole side here can come right off and that gives me access to all of the, all of the push rods in the, in, for rudder and elevator. Just 
access is a thing. So today's effort, hours, is this little bit here. Unreal. I think I sunk little jigs three hours into that. I did stuff one up though, so maybe that's what it took. So you can see I managed to put a little split right in that corner there. And that's just no good. So that goes down to character building that one. And then I had to make another one. For all you nutters out there that really want to know, that's um, 50 thou 2024 T3 aluminium, um, made in two halves. So this is the busted bit. So it's, the reason why it took so long is it's fairly complex shape, obviously from a flat pack, and you got to spend a lot of time making sure those radiuses are nice and smooth. Otherwise, you'll split it just like that one. And then you say botherations and some other nasty words because that's like an hour's work right there and it's gone. So yeah, so this is a wing strut. Oh, I did do this mount here too. So I already made them out, hacked them out with a hacksaw and just drilled this off. So that's the top part of the wing strut. So this little bit here is um, where the jury strut goes. So there's a tang there coming out of the wing and uh, we mount, we'll bolt a little thing down here. This one here will be my mount for um, extra tanks or something like that. Uh, so then I've got to do it all over again and do another one here. That's tomorrow. Because, uh, boy, yeah, tiny little thing just soaks up the time, something chronic, hey? Anyway, it's all fun. Okay, jury struts are done. These are, these are just aluminium tube that I found in a dump in the bin. So um, repurpose them. It's fairly soft aluminium, but it's enough to stop the, takes a giggle out of all of the system there. And that's what it was, it was designed for. So I found these strips of timber at the local hardware store, like a triangular shape, and I glued them together like that. And that's going to form the trailing edge of my wing strut, like this. It'll cut out that, down to the thing right there, and I'm just gonna glue that on with fuel tank sealant. And then paint it black, because as a metal basher, I make a really, really bad painter. So there's the leading edge and trailing edge um, timber strips glued to the wing strut. Um, that's the wing section side of things and down the other end obviously will be where it attaches to the fuselage and our jury strut. So yeah, leading edge has the rounded shape and the trailing edge has the pointy bit. Pretty much cleaned up now for paint. Rob the painter. Nothing but quality, mate. This is for you.